that, my friend, is one done. Is one side gone? Perfect Monday morning, it, Sean. Just the same old, same old. Yeah, defect number one of 1000. Dave the Younger took an intro. Made with a total budget of zero pounds. Because I'm Yorkshire. <laughs> Gaff! Good Monday morning! It is Monday the 19th. It is week. Week. Is it week four of February? I don't know. I don't know what week we're up to, but yeah. Hello, how we do? Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know if you saw earlier or if you're seeing now, depending on how I've done the editing, which I never know until I'm actually doing it. So, Dave, I don't know what you've done, but you've done some up. So, you may have noticed, or you have noticed, or you are noticing right now that I had uh, electrical fault this morning. Uh, I had two Mac lights changing, which we got them done. Uh, Sean did them for me. Bang on, top lad, top job. All right, we are now in uh, Red Rose at the top, uh, getting a trailer up that we picked up on Friday. And that's going to Lidl. Lidl's a manual load, so you've got to take it off yourself. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Can't wait, can't wait. Right, so the audio issue I was having... <laughs> what the hell? Why did that just come out of nowhere? <laughs> right, so the audio issue... I'm out of words. They would help if I knew them. The audio issue... Shh. Dave. Will you just talk properly? Okay, so the audio issue we had last week. Well done. Well done. Well done! So, the audio, I've got to say it again because you, you're disturbing me. I don't give a shit, you sound like an idiot! Right, the audio issue we was having last week when my GoPro wasn't recording was because of this. But you see this, there's a USB port right here. It might be too dark for you to see, but there's a USB port here, which I found out connects to this. So, by plugging that, you in there means that the thing in this is a microphone. Which is why you weren't working, so I'll plug you back here. So if this audio is working, if you're understanding what I'm saying, I've done a good job. Congratulations, me. Well done. Well done. Right, so we're going to hook up to 73, uh, and we're going to get it gone. So, yeah. Let's go! Scooter, are you ready? <laughs> Right, we're going to try something. Could be a shit idea, could be a good idea. I could be wasting 700 quid here. But we're going to put you in the back door, so we're going to try and get you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put you in here. Like that, so you can see me going on to bay. Quiet, good. 
Right then, so we're all loaded, and as I thought, the GoPro did die. Uh, this battery pack must be dead, so I'm going to charge this up at the same time as charging you up. Um, and yeah, we're all done. We're on the way now to Sheffield, uh, and then to Manchester. So I'll put you on charge, and uh, we'll, we'll get back to it. Loaded up. Now the important part. Let everyone know that we're dangerous. Which is, you know, that should do that. Right then, so we have a full load of hazardous waste, all corrosive, bad stuff, all that kind of stuff you don't want on your skin. We've got the waste notes so we can drive off with it. We're off back to CSG in Manchester. Right then, so let's go. I've got to do the fun part now, reversing out of this onto the main road. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you want to see. But you're gonna see it a bit taller. Basically, we're reversing all the way out down to the main road because this street is fully blocked in with people parking on it. Put our back end out and hope people understand what's happening and stop at the end of the road to nice green 60 snails pace Rutland road then take the second left snails but no people are still trying Wait, i'm just going to take it out slowly now just going to if someone comes up they deserve to get it well done you f I don't know if you saw that, I hope you did. If that is what you deal with as a truck, as a trucker. And a horse rapist! Oh, you would say that, wouldn't you? When I caught you last week having conjugal visits with my sheep! Good morning, it is now Tuesday, okay, so after CSG we went back to the yard, dropped the trailer off and then we went home, we were pretty much done, there was nothing else to do. Easy day, it's a good day. Uh, today we are going to Scotland, bastards, that's right, I'm coming to Scotland, FREEDOM! Um, we're doing the outro load, so we've got all this paperwork, oh shit, tons of it. we've got to sort out all the stillages and the boxes. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun one. See, I was meant to be here at quarter to six, but my alarm didn't go off. I got woke up by my wife. Our last story is terrified of waking me up because she thinks I'm going to get angry with her for no reason, which I do, I, I do. So she's like, babe, babe. I'm like, daft, 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 what? 
What time are you meant to wake up? Uh, 20 past five. <laughs> what's, what's, what's wrong? It's six. Had no cereal, basically got straight in car, drove here. And uh, yeah, I've got here and Charles not even here. So they were not even rushing. Cool, it's now it's now 10 to seven, so we can, well, he's just arrived, so we can we can get on with job now. There it is, top lads. Can't see Charlie, but that's Charlie. Too early for this. Too early for this, too early for this. <laughs> and that's Mark. Yeah. You see him, he's got his eye vis on, you know, he's, he's dressed well, whereas Charlie's like a shadow in the night. Oh yeah. By the time I finish this, it'll be daytime, you'll have to see his face. He, he looks, he's spitting image, spitting image of that kid off at uh, Clarkson's farm. What's his name? Oh. Caleb. Even he knows, he knows. He's not happy with it though. <laughs> there we go, we got lights on now, see? There's Caleb, Jesus! There you go, Mark's taking off his uh, refused IBC. Shit bastard! Whoa, 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 whoa! Impalement much? Has he got a license? <laughs> oh! I will late, mate. Stark, just put you over here. And you can watch my distance in safety. Do you know people go, let's skip to the good part? All these would be done. But no, now you've got to watch me do it. Hundred and six kilogram might not sound a lot, but when they're built like this with no handles. Oh yeah. There's one behind you as well. One bit one there. This one as well, yeah? Yeah, 18. Yeah. The screen's gone black. Say again? The screen's gone black. It does, it's... 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 Right, we are now loading. Uh, we've pretty much sorted everything out. So we've got to load me up. That's what Charlie's doing. Mark's getting his stuff together. So uh, we've got six drops. Oh, 
Oh, the different places? Yeah. Ah. Have you got your GoPro on the side? Right, two minutes. Then, so. Yeah, then two up back. So, Kirk's and Florin. Can't find that. Right, we just need to get it all strapped up now and we are ready to go on our way to Edinburgh. Whee! My arms are killing on fire. Oh, this is that trail with no frigging hooks. This stuff's annoying, we don't have those hooks, you've got to put them under here. But as soon as you get around that side and pull them, they just let loose. It's like... Altro's a, a very heavy load, but it's my gym workout for the week because look how vascular I am. Look how vascular. Ah! Ah! So I don't mind doing the outro. It's, it's, it's a workout. Right then, so man's going to get set off and I'll see you all there. See you in a bit. It's probably about five hours from me, but two minutes for you. So I'm just at fuel station and bless old boy over there. He's retiring three years. Just right as I'm feeling it, he goes, Oh! I'm retiring in three years! I'm like, Jesus, yeah. That's also got dementia. Shit me right up. Bless him. He's driving a little rigid. But obviously he used to be a class one driver. I feel like everyone does this. If you're a class one driver with a class one license, but you're driving rigid, you feel like you have to explain to other class one drivers. Oh, no! No, 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 this, no. I don't drive this. This ain't what I do. I don't know. I'm a big boy. I says to her, I says, you retire, mate. And the first thing that's going to annoy you is your wife. And the second thing that's going to upset you is your missing steering wheel. And I says, you'll be back. You'll be back before you know it. And he goes, well, when I do retire, lad, I'll have 18 months on my CPC. I says, use it. Use it. Just cut. Use it. You're not retiring in three years. You're retiring in four. Don't you know? Welcome to Scotland. Scotland. Welcome to the beautiful countryside of Scotland. Bell's hell. Now, for the eagle eye viewer, you may recognise this place. For I have been here before. And I have delivered here before. Hiccup. Hiccup, there's no place for a dragon in a dragon hunter's. You little bastard. Toothless. What kind of name is toothless for a dragon? That has teeth. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? With that out of the way, <laughs> we are arriving at Likewise in uh, probably like what three seconds. Likewise, Craig Place. That's right. It's Craig's place. It is Craig's place. We're here. Hello. Back here again. Hello. Remember me? <laughs> Remember me? I'm the only guy in the village. <laughs> Let's get these curtains opened and let them take off the load. Now I believe it is three stillages and maybe a couple of boxes. But we'll figure that out when we get inside and we can see. <laughs> Oh. 
Am I dirty? I feel dirty. Right, see if we can climb up here without falling on our face. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really getting through all that. There's no way. We just, we just. Right, so likewise, likewise, falling over. Yeah. <coughs> Go through a bad door. Oh, shortcut. Side. There we are. There's the boxes. Uh, does this work? Does, does, does this work? There. Time. Yeah, that's not gonna snap off as soon as I stand it. I've received a spackling. Looks like I've been spackled. Oh yeah. Man's got uh, fake freckles. Thanks a lot, pal. See you later, mate. All right, with that sorted, and we're now despackled, we can make our way to the second drop. So during uh, my way up here, I stopped for a 45-minute break at services, and I met this uh, Polish lad, really nice guy, and he showed off his truck to me. I sat in his truck. He's got all leather seats. He's got all these custom lighting. You know. It's, get back in here I'm like Bleh. poverty spec so tonight when we stop big clean big clean it's been a fairly nice drive it's been very wet as soon as you pass that Scottish border it rains it's like it's a welcoming rain you know like welcome to Scotland where the weather is as good as our attitude poor at best I'll go and get it to the Scottish people they get a bad rap you know a lot of people think Scottish people are angry and ginger I ain't said ginger yet they're actually the nicest people in Britain, to be honest, I would say. In Britannia, the United Kingdom. Because obviously you've got down south where no one wants to talk to. No one wants to talk. No one, they don't even want to talk to their own kids down south, you know. Come further up north, they're a bit more like, oh, you're all right, how you doing, lad? Get to Yorkshire, as they do. Good lad, live it, dream. Good on you. That's about it. Go to Newcastle, and they never stop talking. You can't get rid of them. Never say hello to someone from Newcastle. I guarantee, oh, why I pet? You get past the Scottish border and you're like, you're right, mate? I do. No, we about that. No, no, be that. No, no, no. You go to Wales with a cardigan on, they try and shag your leg. If we're talking like Birmingham area, stay away from them. Stay away from them. Birmingham, Birmingham. Welcome to Birmingham. Have you seen the greats? The great in Birmingham. We build a lot of shit. That's not like Arthur. <laughs> We're the Peaky Blinders. And what we say goes. I'll gouge someone's eyes out for you, Tommy. I'll gouge them raw out. I'm not sure where farmers are from. You're like, I've got a brand new combine harvester coming out of me. I've been to that place, but I don't know where it's from. Have you seen that combine harvester over there? That is the best combine harvester you ever did see. The grass is always greener on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Samwise Ganji, that's it. Mr. Frodo, I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. So come on, let's get that ring to Mordor. I'm pretty sure that's where Samwise Ganji is. If there's anyone I'd marry, it would have been her. <laughs> Thing is, I don't get it, right? Why Samwise Ganji, proper country lad? And then you've got Frodo's like, He's, he's slow. Folks, if you watch Lord of the Rings, right, everyone talks normal. But Frodo, he's like, he's in slow motion constantly. Sam. Aragorn. Uh, what? I don't think I can carry this any longer. The weight, it's unbearable. I, I bet Sam's like, all right, speed the f up. Speed it up. Frodo! No one is talking a year to get a friggin' Mordor! It doesn't make sense, none of Frododians. <laughs> Frododians. Odian. None of the Frododians are all the same! You know, you got Frodo. You got Bilbo. The ring. You got the two twins that aren't twins out there. Pippin and Mary. Mary! Like, why is the Irish and the one's not? 
You know what I mean? So I will get it. Pippin, I don't know what they'll do. I don't know if we'll ever see each other again, you know. I know songs, but not for halls as great as these. Are my halls not worthy of your songs? Hobbit, I'm an Irish dancer, I like to dance. You know what I mean? Not our Frodonians, nor the Hobbitilians, Hobbits, have the same language. Have the, 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 what? They all just come from different places together in one spot. Don't make sense, there'll be a Yorkshire person in there, surely. Well, obviously, you know, Ned, Ned Stark. Ned Stark, that's Game of Thrones with you. You know, uh, what's his name? It's not Aragon. Boromir. There you go, Boromir, played by the legend that is. That's what it is. Boromir is Yorkshire. This is a gift. <laughs> you know what I mean? We should use it to fight the hordes of Mordor. <laughs> Got him. I'm not doing Harry Potter. Screw Harry Potter. Not a single Yorkshire person in Harry Potter. They all pretend, like, there is Yorkshire people, like, uh, Dot, do Dot, what's his name? You know, I don't think Yorkshire people could be wizards and witches, because we won't be able to say, we won't, we won't be able to pronounce the, uh, you know, the spells. Havada Kedavra, that's how you say it down south. Ava Kedavra, <laughs> just a dead body. <laughs> Shit! We've got roughly 18 minutes, so I'll see when we get there. Right then, we have arrived at Kirkland Floors, uh, they're just there. Let's go wait for a van to move and then we can get in. Finally moved. Get in. There's a learner car coming, so you best move that one. Is another job done. Jeez, it got bright quick, did it? What's going on? This is Scotland. Does that not know the sun not coming around here? On we go. That was just literally just rolling those rolls off. Um, just didn't have time to set camera up and get it done because it like they're in a bit of a rush. Right, so we're now driving for. Destination at 3:22 p.m. It is 3:22 p.m. What? You say it's literally around the corner. Is what? Let's have a look, shall we? See if it is round this corner. Don't need to see it well on because it's multi drop. It's literally within a minute's distance or two minutes distance, so seatbelt is not required. Let's see if you can see it before I do, shall we? It's 15B we're looking for. 200 yards, turn left, Naismith Court, then you have reached your destination. Can't force, it's in here. What the shit? How am I getting there? I'm not getting there. No, I can't get in there. I'm going to block the road off. Right, so, can't force isn't in there. Because the number two in there is um, a taxi place. Oh, aren't you lot good? Double parking your cars and your vans. Oh, it's so, so smart. So well done. I hope someone clips you in mirrors. But it won't be me, because I'm a good driver. Ah, okay. Ah, I see it. I see it. You can't see it because you're not facing this way. But I can see it. It's gonna be fantastic to drive out of here. I'm telling you, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Carlton Floors, we found it. I found it. We found it. I found it. Your shit.
just if you swing that round. So like the retard that I am, right? Because my name is Richard, but I'm pretty sure mum just mistakenly called me Richard, not retard. Um, I put you on the paperwork when I put you down here, like that. So I put you on top of the paperwork. And then what I did, some smart, smart reason, I took you off the paperwork, and it's very windy, I took you off the paperwork, which then the wind proceeded to evict the paperwork that was held down by nothing into the shrubbery. Oh wait, oh wait, I need the camera to record stuff. Oh, what about the paper? Forget about it. <clears throat> it's fine, it's not like we need it. Just proof of friggin' delivery, you know. <laughs> My mum meant to call me retard. But the doctor went, are you sure? Not Richard? She's like, no, look at him. He looks like one, doesn't he? Mm. Luckily though, my daft, being the absolute legend that it is, thought to itself, you know what, I think Dave's going to need that paperwork, and it caught it mid-air. mid, mid -air. So three of the pieces of paper were saved, but as you see here, I didn't think I'd find them. Paperwork gone with the wind. It literally, this one literally did. You find it down there. All right, on we go. We'll be there in an hour. All right. That's just parking the car over there. I was alone and doing a reverse. Could be in a while. Let's try to do a parallel park. Let's see if she fails. I'll fail her. I'll fail her right now. All right. Right. Do not hit that. You're a little bit wide there, mate, but don't worry. You can save it. You can. Don't, no, no, don't stop. Keep going. You'll fail if you stop. Keep going, go on. You're nowhere near that curve. Don't start turning yet. Don't start turning yet. All right, turn now. Get turned on. Get turned. Don't stop it. You're just rubbing tire up for. Don't stop. No, Carlton, stay, stay, no, no, you're gonna have to distract it. Oh, how close did that cut? Oh, he's done, not done a bad job. Not done a bad job, apart from all stopping, not done a bad job at all. I'll give him a pass. I'll. That's them off. My man's taking them now. Remote putting them somewhere safe and out of the rain, I'd imagine. There he goes. I'm going gatehouse, see if we can use their uh, lavatory. Sound horn, I see that. <laughs> so we got lucky there. This place was closing, they're all leaving, but the fourth driver has been kind enough to stay behind to unload us. What a legend. But he says that. The uh, next place we're going to will probably be closed. So. Good morning, it is Wednesday. Okay, so after the bus place, we uh, went about 45 minutes or 49 minutes to the next place, which is over there, that big warehouse over here. Uh, they were closed, as we got told they would be. Um, so we're, we parked up for the night in this uh, industrial estate. We didn't park here, we parked further down the road. It was about six o'clock-ish. Um, right, so I woke up at six this morning, because I wasn't sure what time these uh, were open. I mean, I slept here last time and he said eight o'clock, so I didn't wake up till half seven and there was a truck getting unloaded. So I was like, Grr. so I had to wait quite a long time. There's no parking around here, so you've got to keep circling. So I thought I'll park here. As soon as they get through gates, I'm going straight up. So last night, what 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 happened? So, well, last night, um, we ordered a pizza 
called the burner yeah the only reason i got it is because it was nine it was 837 calories whereas all the rest were a thousand plus and i thought you know what i'll have the burner can't be that bad whatever as i was eating it i was thinking to myself there's no burning about this it's just it's just got jalapenos on but they're not that spicy you know it's, it's not that bad until this fateful morning i woke up at six o'clock feeling fine no wrong at all sat in my chair as soon as i sat down my ass started making like breathing movements. What's going on here? What, what is happening? Obviously, nowhere around here is open. Everyone's closed. So I had no option but to make my ancestors proud and find the nearest bush. And I did. I did. I'm not kidding you, right? Who makes a pizza to burn coming out? So yeah, uh, I've, had a I've had a very eventful morning this morning. My ring is burning right now i'm sat on a burning ring of fire i sat on my burning ring of fire so yeah we are now just waiting until this warehouse opens get in there and uh use their facilities all right we have delivered all goods we've just delivered to the last place at sasco uh oh, it is cold and wet it is extremely cold and extremely wet um we're now going to do some collections it is the wife is calling me two seconds hello wench all right so now we've got a bit of a problem okay so we've got to turn around that's dead end uh we can't go down there to reverse up there we can't go up there to reverse down there because we'll be stuck uh so we are in a predicament right now we are spinning we've no idea where the back end is going we're on the curb all right there's a gate post there uh, could be in a bush soon. Could be in a bush very soon. Right now we're just going very slow. There's a possibility we could hit a gate post. A car. Not a car. Let me just check. It wasn't a car. Which is good news. It's a speed bump. That's what you need to do. Just have, even though there's a car waiting, you've got to freaking, you've got to do this. You've got to get out. You've got to check. Screw them. I don't give a shit what they're doing. You want to make sure you're not going to damage a car. You're not going to put anyone at risk. So get out, have a look, make sure everything's safe. Never think to yourself, oh, it'll be right, because it won't. The first day that you think it'll be right, there's no there. There'll be someone there, and you'll hit it. I guarantee it. Blocking no entrance. Oh, wait. There you go. No blocking entrance. You can't come in, you've got to come to the reception before you come in. Nice one. Thought the driver caught me. Just over there. Alright, so the GoPro died before I could uh, say or do anything. Um, We've picked up eight pallets of non-dangerous uh, waste, basically just ink and stuff maybe, I'm not sure. And we've also picked up one electric pallet truck, which is designed for picking up big reels of paper. Massive. According to this, it should have been collected and delivered yesterday. So, let's get the time machine going, shall we? Oh, so we don't want collections, we don't want deliveries. We just need to deliver the two collections. Like I said, we can't deliver one of them, so we'll go deliver the other one. It is... Jesus, it's four hours away. It's four and a half hours away. We'll get there till half past three. Whoever talked to a driver, right, any driver, they'll always say they love Scotland, they love going to Scotland, you know? They're all, everyone wants to go to Scotland, and there's a reason for it. It's not just because Scotland is gorgeous to look at right there is some sights like those horses that you saw yesterday there is, there's some really nice sights in scotland but it's not just that. it is the people of scotland so i went down to him he saw me out and then another bloke came out because he wasn't sure what the other collection was honestly nice as pie nice as and bless him he's like are you sure you can have this on your truck without being on a pallet because you know it's, it's got wheels 
And I'm like, mate, I'll, I'll tie it down at one end. You know, I've, I've got those rat straps. Are you sure? I'm like, mate, stop being so nice. They've been so nice. Like this morning, I got I got to that site early. Like they just, you know, guy in a Porsche just let me out. Guy in a Porsche just let a truck out, right? A guy in a Porsche just let a truck out. You would not find that anywhere else, right? You go down south, a guy in a Porsche ain't letting no one out, not even his frigging grandmother. All right then, so we're now on a 45 minute break. Um, we don't need to go to Leeds. So Mark's called up and says, you won't get your truck there because it's, it's designed for rigid. So he needs to go back to the yard and get taken off. But check out where I'm having my break. It's not too bad, is it? That's no, not too bad at all. Not too bad. Now I'm not sure what the rules are in Scotland. Can I walk through there? I want to just go on for a walk, you know, I want a break. Why can't I just go for a walk? You know what I mean? I, feel, I fancy going on a walk. Will I get shot if I go in? I feel like I'll get shot, but I feel like trying it anyway. Just having a brisk walk in Scotland. Let's do it. All right then, so we're out of the truck. It is raining. I don't know why I'm doing this. I have no idea. The beautiful wood up there. Gorgeous wood. Shall we? I think, shall we walk up to wood? Right, just let's lock truck and I don't want anyone to steal the truck. When someone's barbed wired and you know, surely that means don't go in there. I mean, why not? 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 I'm doing it. it. Won't take me too long to walk up there, will it? Is this sturdy? That's sturdy. Why am I why am I not doing this? If for a kid, I'd just I'd just jump this fence. Right, we, we can't turn back now. We can't turn now I've got no grip on these fucking shoes. Right. We're over. Okay, this is a moat. My feet are sinking deep. I don't know why I'm doing this. Come to Scotland, go for a walk. Why not? That's what I'm doing. Oh, shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall right on my face. I'm gonna fall so f***ing far on my face. That, that wood's further than I thought it was. It's like climbing to Mount Doom. Oh, there's a fence up there as well. Bastard. We've trudged this far, literally. Let's keep trudging. I'm knackered. I've only been walking for five minutes. Oh, this is tiring shit. Is it a nature reserve for rocks? Cool. Oh, yes. Well, this was pointless. Oh. oh, that's gorgeous. So well, I can see is stars. I fell on a rock. I felt, and I also stabbed myself with the barbed wire that I tried to save myself from. Might be why there's a fence there, because there's idiots like me that fall on the rocks. I fell on barbed wire. I tried to save myself by impaling myself with barbed wire like a dickhead. Lovely Scotland. I bet he owns this. I bet he's like, I bet his missus is seeing me climbing going, hey Baz! Some dickhead. There's deer in here. Where there are small deer, there are big deer. There are stags with f horns that want to jab me. Thing is, it's not like I'm being inconspicuous either. I'm wearing a high vis so everyone can see me. This is a lot steeper than I remember coming up. I'll trip on this. Oh my god. Well, adventure complete. We're back. Fun. That. Ooh. Let's have a look. How long did that take us? It's 15 minutes. We were on a five minute walk basically. Did someone say Dave? Show me a blind side reverse. Let's go. How do you 
Well, you've literally got holes in your trailer. Because those curtains make it ten times harder. <laughs> I ain't fall. You fell. All right then, so that is us done for the week now. We have completely finished because it's my birthday tomorrow, so I've got Thursday and Friday off. So early start to the weekend. So basically we just dropped all the load off at the yard. So now it's uh, all ready to get delivered by someone else tomorrow and uh, Friday. Nothing much else to do. I hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, short week. Uh, hopefully, 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this week and I shall see you next time for another week of d I f that up, didn't I? I f that up. Another week in the life of Dave. Is that it? That's, that's it. That's it. Alright, that's it. Alright, go, go. You got it. Oh, that be your V8 and See, we are at Shannon's and Danes. Took a girl, 850, and they've told me to graffiti their truck. And I have done. I have done. There she is. Ooh. Ah. All right then, so we've come to Truck a Girl 850's garage, and she's got a Hilux that she's taking to a show, uh, a, a dirt rally or something, I don't know. And she says, Dave, can you, can you do me a bit of fancy uh, graffiti? So I said, you know, what have you got to I've got free time in world by bastard not! That's what she's got. She's wondering why she's got a rat on there, and I think you all know why she has. I'm only kidding, she asked me to put it on there. <laughs> uh, that's what we've been doing on today, on Saturday. So yeah, you've got an ex- oh, motherfucker. Why would you put a staircase this steep? Even give her a gold plate. I'm gonna redo the only fans because the gold's uh, seat, but yeah. Gold plated back door. Um, and you've got her name on the side there. How cool is that? Yes. It's very cool, very cool, very good, very good. Uh, the kids are into Mario. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I decided to do a Mario themed wing. The kids have put Mario stickers on. It's very cool, very cool. There you got the big, big rats in the middle. So yeah, been a fun weekend. Hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, day in shit. So yeah, see you all in a bit. Bye!